One of the most intriguing consequences of the raft of subnational elections that took place this year is the soul searching it's induced in the Labour Party, Britain's main opposition party, in the days since then. The party did quite well in Wales, but has certainly lost its formerly dominant position in Scotland. And that, of course, means that they need to do even better in England if they are to be able to form a UK-wide majority in Parliament. Of what's happened at the raft of local elections this time following the general election in 2019 is that Labour is witnessing its heartlands in the Midlands and the North being encroached by the Conservatives. Many voters, because of the referendum, voted, moved their vote to, the U, to UKIP or to the Brexit party and have now moved on to the Conservative party by a sort of stepping stone. And that leaves Labour now weaker in the Midlands and the North than it once was, with no capacity to compensate for that in the South East outside London, at least not so far. They did make some progress there, but it's tiny compared with the losses uh, in the Midlands, the North and Scotland. Now, what's to be done about this? Uh, Tony Blair, in a long piece in The New Statesman, believes that uh, the Labour Party needs to uh, drop some of its attraction to what he calls woke policies, that is policies which are highly socially progressive, but he believes in some cases put off traditional Labour voters. Well, there's a struggle will fall out of that, particularly for those on the Corbynite left of the party who believe that actually what Labour needs to do is to double down on its radical um, agenda under Jeremy Corbyn, and that that will, as in uh, 2017, do relatively well for the party. What this tells us is that the Labour Party is in the middle of one of its uh, periodic bouts of infighting and that Keir Starmer as leader has to make a decision about getting messages that cut through with the electorate, policy messages, and he's reshuffled his uh, cabinet in part to try to do that. But secondly, how to stop the factionalism which his own party and indeed the left traditionally suffers from, always being defeated by the centre-right, the Conservative Party's incredible capacity to reinvent itself and to hold its coalition together. This is important for the future of UK politics because we live in a two-party system. It's still broadly a two-party system in England. And if the opposition party can't convince the electorate, then the government party, currently the Conservatives, will stay in power for a long time. Mm -hmm.